A warm welcome to our IGEL Universal Management Suite release session. As usual, we have our great product management with Florian Strobel and Rene Recker with us in the session. So from today, we will show you the latest news around this new UMS release 1203-100. In my opinion, the biggest news since uh, the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer that came out yesterday. Florian, would you like to tell us a little bit more about this new amazing release that you brought out? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, Rene, for having me. Um, I'm very proud um, to present you the features of the UMass 1203. It is a great bunch of features that will make the daily work of the admins more effective and simpler, I'm sure. So the launch day will be next week, the 13th of December. Um, on this date, um, you can download the UMass 1203, um, usually from our homepage. So let's start directly with our most eye-catching change in the UMass. I'm talking about our new user-driven design. As you know, this year we launched um, OS 12, we launched the app portal, and we launched a lot of features in the UMass web app like the app management. It was clear for us that we have to shift all these products, all these features on one design system to make the work with all this bunch of different products more effective and more user-friendly. The UMass web app will be our first product that will introduce the new user-driven design. The OS 12 and the app portal will follow next year. So this is the screen of the, um, of the UI of the UMass web app as you know it. The change that we did is this. So this is our new design for the UMass web app. It is a lightweight, and um, friendly design and very optimized for the daily work. As you can see, we shifted the menu bar to the left side. And this is because the screens, as you probably know, are getting wider and wider, not higher. So we wanted to give you more space on the screen by shifting the menu bar to the left-hand side. And all the other sections, um, we didn't change. So you have the directory tree on the left side, you have in the middle um, the section with the objects, and on the right-hand side, you have the details. So this is what we didn't change. What we changed is the design of the components. You also have a um, small area on the, um, on the left corner um, with the name of the UMS and the current version. And one of our highlights is that this design comes with um, the new dark mode. I know that a lot of admins, a lot of um, people in the community requested the dark mode, and I'm very proud that we can now present you this great dark mode. I can promise you that you made so much wishes true that your Christmas gifts will be bigger than usual, Florian, and all the deaf people. Honestly, even myself, I'm using the dark mode everywhere, on my phone, on my Linux, on my Windows, on my Mac OS. And it's just marvelous, to be honest. It, it looks great. I like the icons. I like the new the new UX. Um, everything looks more fluent than it was before, even if it, yeah, UI cannot be fluent, but it seems more professional in my opinion. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm yeah, I also already I love the new design and I hope um, all of the people using the UMS web app will feel the same. So here to wrap it up, um, we introduced a new user-driven unified design in the web app. It will make the daily work more effective and familiar. And we will roll out the design also for OS 12 and the app portal next year. And it will come with the great dark mode. Let's go to our next feature. Um, with the UMS 1203, we reach another milestone in terms of migration of features from the UMS console to the UMS web app. And the new feature we introduce now is the file management. And this is how it looks like. So um, you will be now um, um, so you can now manage files in the UMS web app. Therefore, you can go to the configuration section, and then below the profiles and the and priority profiles, you will have the section with the files. But we not simply migrated the um, file management 
feature functionality from the console to the web app, we also wanted to optimize it. So I think the most eye-catching feature is this here. You can um, see now a preview of the, of the file. If it's a picture, you will see um, a preview of the picture here in, in the section. If it's a certificate, you can also see the content of the certificate in the UMass web app. I think this will make um, the life much more easier. It does, it does. Let me just jump in there, Flo, because that's a feature um, which is unique, right? Because we didn't have this in the UMass Java console. So I would say, I wouldn't say for the first time, but it's one of the features that went from the UMass Java console to the UMass web app and went enhanced in the features that it is proposing. So getting a preview of the file you're looking at and having the certificate content, um, it's amazing. Just in case if someone is listening, you are, you are deploying your UMS certificate authority files to your endpoint for your storefront or whatever connection. And until now, you had to download that file, check it with Notepad if it contains uh, correct file content and not this, uh, this uh, hieroglyphs. That's just a huge step in the direction of helping our administrators to use the UMS web app because that's unique and it would help you definitely. I can I can also say this is amazing. The whole new design gives you more space to show information and, and this will be so useful for everyone. Great, great job. Yeah, thank you. Our developers did a great job here, I think. And yeah, I'm very happy um, if the feature is also liked by you and our um, fans out there in the world. So, um, yeah, to put it together, we have new use cases unlocked in the UMS web app. You can now manage images like background images. You can manage certificates. Um, so you can now finalize, um, for example, Citric profiles in the UMS web app. And of course, you can manage other files like documents. Another um, feature I didn't talk about is you can now see the file size here. This wasn't possible in the console as well. And Additionally, the third optimization is that we have a display name of the file and you can now edit the name in the UMass web app. I think that also helps you a lot. Definitely. Okay, let's go to our third feature. It's called security logging. So um, the first, first part of the feature is that we log security relevant events in the UMass console. So for example, um, if a user tried to log in and he failed, this is locked now. If an admin configures um, a profile and assign it to a, um, to a device, this is locked. So all security relevant events are now locked and stored in a log file. And if you are using now a log collector like Greylock, for example, you can now use um, or you can now access this um, log file and put it together with all other security relevant logs of other systems like routers, firewalls, VPNs, and so on to have all security important information in one place. That's, by the way, extremely important for our enterprise customers. And I know that we had at least three to four different feature proposals in our ids.agilecommunity.com feature proposal tool where customers were asking, hey, how can we um, gather log information more efficiently in our UMS? Um, when is an SEIM con um, a connector coming? So you are, again, just bringing out a cool feature, which is not only helpful for our, for our administrators, but for the security department, who has a direct connection to the endpoint administration department. Great. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So the next feature, it's about the way how you can name your devices per default. Um, we optimized the naming convention so it's now possible to use a prefix, a suffix, and um, a sequential number, the unit ID, or even the serial number for the device name. You can also define how many characters of the serial number is used. And with that, you can 
make device names work for you and match your asset management. So for example, um, if the um, suffix has a specific logic or if you need the serial number to identify a device, this is now possible because with this feature, you can flexibly name all devices in the UMass. The next feature, it's called specific device commands. If you are using UMS 6 and OS 11, you're already familiar with it. Um, we now um, introduce it for OS 12 and the apps. So given the case you, or there is a printer app, the printer app can now bring a specific device command, for example, in BIOS update. So if you import the printer app into the UMS 12, this specific device command is also registered. And if you then assign the, um, the app to a device, um, on the device level, you can then have the specific device command to update the BIOS. This could look like this. So with the context menu that we introduced in our last release, um, if you go to more, then you have here the this, this specific device commands for this specific device. And if the app is already installed on the device, then um, the command is visible here. Let's come to our next optimizations. It's about our config dialogue, our configuration dialogue. So we got a lot of feedback and um, we optimized the way to show changes in the profiles. So when you work with um, the UMS console and OS 11 profiles, you know that we had our color code um, in, the, in the tree on the left-hand side to show where are changes in the profiles. We have a similar approach now in our um, configuration dialogue in the web app. Um, we use specific icons. So if you have an orange icon, for example, that indicates that there are param parameters changed, but not saved. If they are blue, they are already saved. So if you open um, a new profile, you can see immediately with the blue icons, where do I have to go to see all parameters that I um, have edited here in this profile. Another feature optimization is that we, um, or yeah, is that we brought back the breadcrumbs to the registry in the UMS web app. This was highly requested from our users. And also we have um, introduced a toggle to show the enabled parameters only in the registry view. And of course, we also had some optimizations in the template key management in the config dialog. It looks way more appealing in my opinion. I had the chance to test with the release candidate, release candidate version that you delivered to us internally. And it's just a way more user friendly than than before. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't bad, but since it, the highlighting of the uh, different sections wasn't that apparent to me, I always try to find a workaround for it. So now that having it directly in the configuration dialog with this small little um, yeah points on down the right hand, it helps a lot to identify where I made a change. Because in the Java console for our listeners, you had this change that the text switched from, from white to red, or if you had a profile, then from white to, um, to uh, blue. And that's something that helps a lot to identify where we have something configured. Yeah. And this is also a result of our feedback loops. So thank you very much for all the feedback that we got through you, through the ITRL community. Um, we always collect the feedback, we evaluate it, and we always try to make all the things possible. So thank you very much um, for the feedback here. Um, it was just, um, yeah, it was very useful. And I think we optimized um, the, the handling of the profiles a lot. So last but not least, we have also some updates and new supports. So with the UMass 1203, we will support the MS SQL Server 2022. And um, like always, uh, as always, we updated the Spring Boot to version 3.14, and we updated the Apache Tomcat to the latest stable um, major version 
15. So let's talk about the future. We already plan a 12.3.110 um, for next year that will have the Azure Application Gateway support. Um, with the support, it is then possible for you to use the UMS functionality without any limitations in your Azure environment. This will be um, come together with our OS 12 version. The UMS 12.04 um, is planned for the end of Q1 2024. And the focus for us for next year, um, you can see three bullet points here. They are very important. The first one is conditional access. Um, the second one is single sign-on in the UMS web app um, together with user management. And the third one is feature migration from the UMS console into the UMS web app. So these are the topics that we will work on in, in the next year. And um, yeah, I'm very looking forward to, to the new versions, to the new features. And um, yeah, if you have feedback, please let us know. So thank you very much. Um, it was an honor to present you all the new features. I hope you like the new version as I do. And yeah, looking forward to your feedback. Thank you. Thank you, Flo and Dev Team. Uh, by the way, you said thank you for, for our feedback. But I can tell you that we are more than grateful for you having listening to us and listening to the market. And we all know that into implementing every feature from the beginning on is our, is our wish and the wish from our customers, but it's not possible because it was too much things to, to go through. And since we had a huge redesign in our communication and the OS system as well, um, I would say this 12 or three version and the first version of the web UMS in general UMS, where I'm feeling really, really confident that it will change our mindset in the market and bring our customers to adopt a little bit more the new OS 12 also, uh, where we have a lot of updates coming up in the next weeks, not to say months. Uh, as always, thank you very much, Flo and team. Um, thank you, Rene, for uh, helping us on this on this topic. And I'm really looking forward for the next session. Then hopefully next year, right? Yes, sure. So have a nice Merry Christmas. Good um, and a good Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Same to you. Thank you.